time of Argentina soaring. <laughs> time 95 million years to the time of Argentinosaurus. Whoa, the ground's all shaky. I hope I haven't landed in the middle of an earthquake. Whoa. It's not an earthquake, it's an Argentinosaurus quake. Whoa! Look at the size of her! She's so tall, she's almost scraping her head on the sky! There's a whole parade of Argentinosaurus here! They're immense! There must be some eggs nearby! Excuse me! Where do you lay your eggs? Excuse me! Looks like the right shape. What? Wait a second. Oh, it's a pterosaur! And he's heading this way. That gives me an idea. Whoa! to do is wait for a Camptosaurus to call out and I can record it on my gizmo. Whoa! Oh, careful! I wouldn't want to get hit with that spiky thagomizer. I wonder which one will call first. Hmm. Maybe not this one. He's too busy eating. Oh, he's up. He's seen something. Oh no, it's that Allosaurus. And he still looks hungry. Quick, warn the herd. <coughs> yes, he's giving an alarm to the rest of the herd. I need to record this. Come on. <laughs> Maybe if I follow them, they'll lead me to the nest of a Gigantoraptor. And hopefully, I can get my feather. Hey, wait for me. I hope these Overraptors know where they're going, because I certainly don't. There doesn't seem to be any Gigantoraptor anywhere. Uh-oh. Tyrannosaurus, a cousin of Tyrannosaurus Rex, who loved nothing more than a delicious, meaty meal. Oh, thankfully it didn't notice me. Oh, wait for me! If you thought the Electrosaurus was big, Take a look at what we've just found. It's a mother Gigantoraptor. And she's on her nest. Oh, she's not too happy about the Overraptors being here. Oh, look at the size of her. 
and her feathers. Well, they look just like the one that Mrs. Pickles made. Well, easy now, Gigantoraptor. I'm not after your eggs. I'm just after a straight... Feather. Never get too close to a mum looking after her eggs. She can get very angry. Oh. This forest goes on for miles and miles. How am I going to search it all for a leptic tidium? Anything I've seen so far are these dragonflies. Hang on a minute. That gives me a good idea. To the size of a dragonfly. Right, now to hit a lift. Um, excuse me. now for Eleptic Tidian, and I can't find one anywhere. Maybe they're just not alive! I think she finally realised that I'm not dinner. Thanks for that. Although, just to be sure, I might make myself a bit bigger. Not too big, though. I don't want to scare her off. Size of a leptic tidium. There, that's better. Now I can follow her without being eaten. Drop! He's got my drop! Back. Oh well, I guess I just have to swim out to it. Oh, On second thoughts, maybe swimming to it's not a good idea. What am I going to do? Um, my backpack. Always full of useful things. Right. Sandpaper. Miniature hairbrush. Fast acting glue. How's all this gonna help me? Maybe if I'm quiet, I can sneak up and work. No. Whatever's in the water has got. Lots of sharp teeth, making me very jumpy. Hang on. Reeds, fast-acting glue, and jumpy. Hmm. Hey, presto, one prehistoric pole vault. I just hope this glue holds. Let's give it a go. Thank you. 